are so cute. focus on my face. Huh? We just stopped really quick. <laughs> um, so we just checked out of our bed and breakfast in Port William and we are on our way to the Scottish Sea Life Aquarium. Yay! We're gonna go see some otters. Now this aquarium doesn't have sea otters. They only have river otters, but it's still gonna be awesome. How fo- oh, I can get like real close. A shout out to uh, Cicely. She's the one that got this for our wedding for us. Yes, thank you Cicely and David. Um, we're really excited. It's another wonderfully partially cloudy, partially sunny, awesomely cool day in Scotland and we're ready for another adventure today. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. We have made it to the Scottish Sea Life Sanctuary and we are at Otter Creek and I just want to live here because that's where all the otters are. Oh my gosh. Oh, this guy's like exploring and then, yay! Oh, <laughs> oh there's, the, there's the other one down over there. He's, he's rubbing his face on the grass. He has something bothering him on his face. We just missed them feeding the otters, and I'm kind of bummed. But we still get to enjoy the otters. Yeah. Like they're just hanging out and playing. And this is their whole life. Living at Otter Creek. It looks like a pretty nice. What? All right. That guy's taking a nap under the tree. <laughs> oh, back down the creek. So good morning. Hello. As, as Laura already said, we've made it to the Scottish Sea Life Aquarium, uh, Sanctuary. And we're going to explore some fishes and some seals and more otters hopefully later on. Right now we're going to go find some breakfast. Yes. It's a little bit more out of time. <laughs> he keeps doing cute little things in the water. Canadian River Otter Isla. And Lewis. I love this. Oh, Canadian. So, Lauren, which otter are you? I, well, based on the one. Oh, I'm definitely a sea otter. Yeah, me too. I'm fluffy. Hey, right. And adorable. And adorable. They're all real cute. Look at that guy eating. Not eating a short lot off. No, no, no. Oh my goodness. They're so cute. So we are, we didn't get breakfast this morning because we're trying to go over to the, to the Sea Life Aquarium. And, our, and uh, so we came to the shop to get a little breakfast. And guess what? We're having breakfast of champions. A pair of hot dogs. Hot dogs. With some Texas, Texas barbecue Pringles. So, pretty excited about this breakfast. I mean, it's almost lunch, so yeah, it's going to serve It's after 11. Too. Yeah. But also, I want to make sure you're trying to get this feel. It's a pretty nice place to eat lunch. <laughs> Here are all the seals. Where'd they go? They're all swimming underneath. 
Okay, that's fine. Do you see the two fighting with the little pods? Are they like, yeah, breakfast? They're high-fiving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't see what I'm getting. <laughs> So Laura was born here at the sanctuary. She was actually born on the beach where my colleague is training from now. And because she was born captivity, unfortunately she can't be released back into the world. One of the reasons for this is because her mom was also in captivity all her life, so she would never have shown Laura how or where to hunt. And secondly, because she's been in our people, Hawk to be rescued by our sister sanctuary home, Danton Sea Now, Macy was actually rescued twice, so she was rescued by Hans Danton, went through the rehabilitation process, tagged and then released, and then a year later, she was found washed up on a beach again, in trouble, along with Pippa. So it's brought both of them back into Hans Danton, <coughs> did some blood tests, and it actually turns out that both of, them have, both of them have got underactive thyroid glands, which means he was actually picked up locally, just outside of Oban, by our local vet. And when he was found, he was actually born prematurely, and the reason we know this is because his umbilical cord was still attached to him. He was also very small, uh, and we think that his mum abandoned him there and then, because she knew that he was born prematurely, and the chances of him surviving without intervention wasn't very high. Uh, so it's a lot easier for her, unfortunately, in the seal world to just abandon him, because it's too much effort for her to try. Look at this guy. Dory, Nemo, Marlo, that's a Lauren. Little sharks hanging out at the bottom. Just resting. Starfish to the sides. There's this pretty little ray, but he's like hanging out on the corner. He's hard to get to. Look. Look at his watch. Let's watch him down here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's nowhere to go, little Ray. Don't swim around. Over here, I guess it's called a mermaid's purse. I don't know the actual term for it. I'm a trigger fish. Look at his lips. He can move his two eyeballs like separately. Like they don't have to move together because they're on like either side of his face. Hey buddy. Is a much longer stingray coming out to say hello. See its eyes blinking? Or no, those are gills. Oh, 
there's another one. And another one. Yeah, there's, oh yeah. There's a lot of things in here. There's another one over there. Yeah, look at all these little sharks. Look at these guys. They're wolf fishes. They look so angry. It's like grumpy old men in here. But they have to put up a sign because these guys are ambush predators. So basically they play dead and lay on like their sides or their backs and just wait motionless to attack something. So they had to put up a sign so children don't get scared. Ah, ah. This guy, he's just hanging out waiting. Uh, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> he can clearly see us and he doesn't like us. Oh, hello. <laughs> He was like, it's not just him in here, just in case you were wondering. I'm, I'm here too. Him. See, this one will hold their breath for an hour and a half. That's pretty crazy. Oh, hello. It's so aerodynamic, like, just cutting through the water. Oh. Hello. He jumps so big. Hi. Oh. What's his goal? There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Whee! He's got like a little slide there. like scratching his nose. He's so close. He's posing for Lauren. That's like what they show in an evolution video of like what yeah. happened between like uh, Pangea and now. That guy's a part of it. That's so crazy. Like look at these guys with their big old ears. I don't know what those are. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? They're gonna walk in. I wish they just had normal plaques that we could read. pretty crazy. So I walked up to Ryan and he was like, oh, do you think there's viewing below? And I was like, oh, do you not see them? And they're snuggling. Sleeping. There's both of them. Isla and Lewis snuggled, snuggled up. Just sleeping. They have this whole encounter. Like this whole, they've got multiple little pools, they've got a little river, they've got so many plants and trees, and they're choosing to sleep snuggled up together. I wish this conveyed the cuteness. I don't feel like you've seen just the blobs of otters. Here, let's try another angle. Okay, so this you can see a little bit more, the cuteness of the snuggling, but everyone should just go to all the aquariums. Ooh, ah! <laughs> He's kicking. One of them is kicking the other one in the face while they sleep, and I think that's rude. That's pretty cute. Sorry it's so shaky. It's hard when you're so zoomed in. Oh, they're so cute. 
All right, so here are the magnets. Oh, so I see light. I'm gonna go with this one. So we're still in the gift shop and just like look at all the fine Dory stuff they have. So much fine Dory. Alright, look at this thing. They stay up. Mm-hmm.